Hello my crafty friends, it's Marie from Marie's Vermont Creations and it is day 12 of the Countdown to Christmas card series with Michelle from Scrap Secrets. And today our theme is black and silver. So I am going to be doing some heat embossing, just showing you my supplies. The stamp set is from Simon Says Stamp called Joy For You. So I'm just taking this black card panel which is cut to five by five and a quarter by four a little smaller than A2 size, and I'm going to put this in my Misty, just making sure that everything is flush into the corner so that if I have to stamp again, I don't make a mess. Um, I am remembering to use my anti-static powder tool um, just so I can hope to not get embossing powder where it doesn't belong, which for this first bit of stamping works quite well. Um, so I am putting my sentiment in the middle, which is season's greetings, and then I am going to build my snowflakes around. Um, and then I will take and heat set that until it's smooth and melted. And then I'm going to flip this card panel over and actually stamp them again because they fit perfectly on one half of the card panel. So I was able to stamp the second half without having to rearrange the snowflakes which was it worked out well didn't plan it that way but it was a nice bonus and for my embossing powder i am using sterling from brutus Mis brutus monroe which is a nice silver metallic embossing powder so while you watch me do some stamping um, and heat embossing i just thought i would tell you a little bit about this series so i have this is the second year for um in 2023 and 2024, I joined Michelle from Scrap Secrets to do her entire Christmas card series. She's been doing this series for a few years, and three years ago, I joined her for like a guest spot. And then last year, she said, you know, would you want to do the whole series with me? And I thought, sure, I always need some motivation to create content. So what's better than being locked in to two videos a week on Mondays and Fridays for 25 projects? So I absolutely loved it last year. So we are doing it again this year. Um, there are going to be prizes at the end of the series. So in order to qualify for those, you need to be subscribed to both of our channels and comment on um, videos. We will select random videos videos at the end for prizes. I am working my way towards ever so slowly to a thousand subscribers and if I do reach that milestone during this card series, so before the end of the series, if I reach a thousand subscribers, I will do an additional giveaway um, for reaching that milestone. I want to just say thank you to everyone who has already subscribed to my channel and interacts with me on a regular basis um, and comments and likes my videos, watches them. Um, I truly appreciate all of you. I do this to share what I know and I hope that you appreciate um, or enjoy the content that I bring. If ever there's something that you'd like to see on my channel, don't hesitate to let me know down below. I am always open to suggestions of things that I could do. Um, and so I will link Michelle's channel down below so that you can check out what she's done with the black and silver theme for this week. I am also at the end, I try to, um, link to the playlist that I have, which is for this 2024 series. I add Michelle's videos and myself there. And then I do also have a playlist for 2023 if you wanted to check those out, if you're looking for additional inspiration for your holiday card making. So uh, you may have noticed that I wiped off all of my embossing, um, not my embossing, but my anti-static powder, thinking I was done. And then I decided I was going to take the individual snowflakes with an acrylic block and just freehand and add them in so that it didn't look quite as symmetrical, it gave it a little bit of a random look. I have done some off of the page so it looks like it was almost patterned paper that has been trimmed down. Um, but when I did that and I go to add my embossing powder, I do end up having embossing powder cling to where I don't want it because I should have used the anti-static powder tool again before I started stamping these individual stamps. Um, but it's easy enough to fix. I just take a small dry paintbrush and wipe away all of the excess that I have in my way. Um, and then I will heat set that. And I did do that off screen since I showed it to you in the first half. I didn't think that you needed to watch me do it every single time. Um, but I do definitely have quite a bit that I need to 
move out of the way as I was watching this back to do the voiceover. I'm like, there's some on the sentiment. There's some on that big snowflake. Like, I couldn't remember, like, did I get all of it? Or is this card a hot mess? Because I had anti or embossing powder where it wasn't going to be. Because I thought about right here that I was going to be done with that. But thankfully, I do manage to get off all of the excess embossing powder before I heat set it and, and you know, permanently adhere that to my card. Um, and then once I get that all nice and melted, and with heat embossing, the powder is very grainy when you start, um, when you attach it to your embossing ink, which mine that I'm using today is from Simon Says Stamp. I normally use uh, Versamark ink, but this full-size pad came in a card kit, so I've been using that. So I'm just going to use my liquid glue to attach it to this foil um, silver foil cardstock. I did take and roughly cut out a chunk out of the center so that I could have that for die cutting or other other elements for different cards so that I wouldn't waste the center of it because you're not going to see it anyway. So then I am going to then adhere that entire panel to my A2 size card base. It's a side folding. Um, card base and then something that I don't normally do is I am going to stamp one of the snowflakes on the inside of the card panel just to give it a little finished look um, something that I'm hoping to get better at doing um, not necessarily always adding sentiments because I do like to have a lot of room to be able to write to a recipient in there um, but the little snowflake in the corner kind of ties it in with what's going on in the front you could also embellish in an envelope you know you could stamp the snowflake on the outside of the envelope so that they all match um, when you give it and so that silver foil panel was the full a2 size you know so i just lined that up and it takes up the whole front so then i'm going to take the largest snowflake that i used and some versify and claire nocturne ink and i'm going to stamp that in the right hand lower corner of this card panel or card base, excuse me. And then that will complete my project for today. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them for me down below. And I hope that you'll check out Michelle's channel, Michelle's channel which I'll have linked down below. And as always, I hope that y'all have a great day.